I tried to. I pushed back. I pulled back. Do you know what I find funny? And I just want to say this. They say, my name is Ian. I don't want to give my last name just because of the, unfortunately, the stuff that's flying around, it'll mark me and I don't want to be. You know, I find it funny that they say things like, love trumps hate. And they tell us to love each other and they tell us to listen and to be open. And then we have a conversation and she throws her hand at me and she tries to hit me. You know, not one of us tried to hit one of them today. But yet again, another one of them tried to hit one of us. And I always wonder, when are people going to realize that the people screaming love are throwing their fists at the same time? That's yeah. not love. They don't love us. They hate us. Yeah. They think that we are not human. And they think because we are not human that they can raise their hand to us. But they don't understand. My sisters are Jewish. I'm no Nazi. My stepfather's Jewish. I celebrate the high holidays. I, I, like, where do they get off? But what was it that she had on her sign that you found offensive? She said that Palestine does not belong to the Jews, it belongs to the Palestinians. And I told her that it's somewhere that both have a right to live at. Uh -huh. And she told me that the Jews are Nazis okay. in Palestine. And I told her, how dare you make a comparison like that when you don't know people who wear the tattoo. Uh -huh. what, what, what Nazi life was really like? Yeah, Nazi, you know, Nazi life with gas chambers. It was assets being seized. It was children being hunted. And you know, I don't see any of this happening. I don't see children being hunted. I don't see gas chambers. I don't see Trump coming for you in the evening. You know, I see people trying to do dialogue. Her sign was from the Answer Coalition. Are you familiar with them? I aren't. I'm not. I'm sorry. Answer Coalition. So they are a leftist group whose their focus is, their focus is anti-Israel. Yeah. Right, that's their rallying cry, it's, it's anti-Israel. How does, how does Israel factor into this issue? It doesn't, it's, it's, and you know, you know what I think is happening, and it's interesting, you've got these crazy leftist views that have somehow found their way into the Democrat party, and they're infesting these, these, these marches. For instance, let me give you an example. The Women's March, well, I don't agree with some of the things they said. I agree with their right to be there, and it was peaceful, and no one got hurt, but the day before, there were tens and tens of people being injured. There were windows being bashed. There were cars being lit on fire. And I think to myself, who are these people and how are they infiltrating these people? It's not right. And you know, if they want to associate people like Richard Spencer, who I don't even know, who is he a Nazi, is he not? I don't know who he is, but I know I don't agree with what he says. If I have to account for him, well then why don't they have to account for the people in Berkeley who were macing women giving interviews, and her interview was talking about the importance of protest and how she respected the other protesters. And they maced her. And her hat didn't even say, make America great again. It said, make Bitcoin great again. They don't even know who they're attacking. They label people a Nazi and they come for you in the evening. That's what they do. They label you and they come for you. And it's, you know, it hurts my heart to see because they are not even, fighting for the ideal that they're asking for. And we're supposed to believe them when they, when they say to trust us. Well, I don't. I don't trust them. I don't believe them. How do you think Demo lifelong Democrats ought to view what's 
taking place under the Democrat label? I think lifelong Democrats should be in rebellion. I think that liberalism, classic liberalism, has been hijacked by leftism and socialism and, and cultural Marxism. And I think that if classic liberals do not revolt quickly and take their party back, there will be no party to take back because look at that. That is what's taking over your party. That's not liberalism. That's not classic liberalism. That's not pushing the idea of free speech and, 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 and you know, a social safety net for people that need it and helping the poor. That's not what this is about. They're screaming to, to I don't know, it's, I, I'm sorry, it just, it hurts me to see. Because the things they're yelling for do not match the things they're asking for. And I hope Americans can see it, and I hope liberals wake up. You know, I, I want to say this to liberals. If you don't like Trump, I get it. All right? I like him, but I get it. But you have a choice right now, and you're in a rock and a hard place, and you're going to have to choose. You're going to have to decide, do you, do you want to hope that we're the ones telling the truth, or do you believe that they're the ones telling the truth, because you're being forced in this corner? And I hope that you choose right, because I can tell you that in the Trump movement, I have met great people great Americans of every color and every stripe, and all they want to do is save our country. And they want to tear it down. And I, I just, I ask classic liberals to stand up, please, stand up, fight for your country.